What's going on everybody, T Reaper here, back again with another Common Sense episode 11, I believe. Xbox Live for noobs. Now, I tried doing this a whole bunch of different times. First, Common Sense to Xbox Live is you gotta sign in. See that? Press that. It says my password is already saved. It's already signing me in. Second concept of this wonderful video is how to start a party. Now keep in mind, I'm going to start a party, I'm going to press invite my friend to party, he's going to join, but for the sake of him actually not hearing what the hell I'm going to say, I'm going to go over my name and I'm going to press something called mute me. That works wonders. Then we're going to go all the way down my friends list to his wonderful name. And he's my boy Colossus, you might have heard of him. We're going to press invite to party. Now we're going to wait for him to join. Bada bing, bada boom, he joined the party. Now, this common sense issue is very simple. If you send the party invite to somebody, it is their obligation to accept it, and then if they accept it, they automatically join. The other wonderful issues of today is how to see what the other person has on the their wonderful tag. So we're going to use him as an example. We're going to go all the way to see full profile. Then we're going to go to something called compare games. And that's usually in the achievement section. So compare games. That's where it tells us wonderful bots across the nation. Even those who don't speak English. Across the nation what the other one has that you do not. Now my boy here just started on Xbox Live so he doesn't have that many games. but he has Halo 5, see the comparison between the achievements. He has Gears of War, he has COD, uh, Black Ops 3, he does not have Advanced Warfare, he has Master Chief Collection, he has Battlefront, he does not, he has Gears of War 3, but it's on the, three, uh, the 360 version, he has the uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, so on and so forth. The other thing we're going to do is, and this goes across everybody that complains about this wonderful issue. Ever feel that one day you just don't want to be bothered by people on Xbox and you just, you know, want to sick, sick and tired of getting messages? Well, we have an we have a option for that. It's called notifications, people. And it's called, we go here and we press this. Notifications off. So as long as this is turned off, I will not get a notification for anything, party invites, messages, anything. But this is my um, line time Xbox, so I like to keep my notifications on and all I do is just turn them on. The other concept is for Xbox to record that or Cortana to record that, etc. You can do it in segments. So you can do it in 15 uh, second segments, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 1 minute, 3 minute, 5 minutes. Um, keep in mind my wonderful new... Uh, Noobish Xbox people that if you do it in three minutes and five minutes and you gather up a bunch of them Your Xbox live storage is gonna run out pretty quickly rather if you keep it at a 15 or a 30 second uh, etc The uh, what uh, oh wonderful my wonderful first common sense episode ever was on external storage people If you have a lot of games make sure you have something called an external drive because if you just run off the internal drive, I don't care whether it's a 2 terabyte Xbox S that eventually turns into being a 1.5 something or a 500 gig, which if you got one of those, I feel bad for you because you're not going to fit that many games on it, or a uh, you know or a one or a one terabyte uh, uh, internal. Eventually, games cost something called space in this world and you have to install it and then it takes up space so if you have an external it's a lot easier and I would recommend a three terabyte I personally have two three terabyte Seagates that I use on both my Xbox S's um, right now my uh, uh, I also named it and it's actually running low on space so I switched back over to the internal I can switch back just press install here by default and then install new things here and then to make it go back to my internal I can just basically do the same thing over again install new things bada bing bada boom so the uh, the reason um, and then uh, right here is the main home screen and these are my pins and 
you can take any game from your co uh, from your my games and apps and pin them to your home, and all you have to do is just press them, and it launches. The uh, and I like my Netflix, I like my YouTube. Um, right now, I'm still working on uh, um, Call of Duty 4 Remastered Story, so I still have that on my home screen. Also, our wonderful Larry Herb, aka Major Nelson, does a weekly video every Friday afternoon to tell us what is new on Xbox. So if you guys want to be kept in the loop, what's going on on this world on Xbox, and you don't want to listen to us, wonderful YouTubers that tell you every single day of our lives, you can just go to Major Nelson and he'll do a wonderful video every Friday afternoon, and all you need is Xbox Live events. And now, the community section, which shows us all the activity in the community, uh, screenshots, uh, clips, achievement uh, unlocks, all that fun jazz. Then, to uh, for one guide is more for the media like TV and uh, HBO and Fox and all that kind of fun jazz. The store is where things really heat up. See, if you want to buy something digital, you go to the Xbox Store, and it has browse games, browse apps, browse movies, browse TV, browse music, and you go into browse games. See, this is where you need something called. Microsoft cash on your Microsoft account or you need a credit card now uh, it shows the new games that are out shows games that are coming soon it shows top paid games top free most played best rated backwards compatible game demos game preview and games that they suggest you buy um, based on what you personally play and they keep track of now, the whole reason I did this video was I love the fact that Xbox people are getting more into Xbox. We're getting new gamers every single day, every month. Xbox is on its 15-year anniversary. Uh, coming Tuesday, I think, is what it was, what the message was. But I love that you get the you you get the you get the uh, you get the console, but you don't know how to use it, and that's what this video is mainly for. Forgive my sarcasm, and if you already know how to do all this kind of stuff, just let it fly by. This is mainly for the idiots that didn't know that if you press invite to party, the other person might actually join your party because you actually did invite them. I want to give a quick shout out to all my new, uh, all my new subs, all my current sub base. Thanks so much for your support over there this year. Keep in. Uh, also, um, I want to pose a question to my sub base: Which songs in my montage list would you like to see me? do in three video uh, three montages in next month um, just go through my list of uh, montages on my profile on my YouTube page and just you know choose uh, uh, this means war uh, you know um, centuries angel with the shotgun etc and tell me which three songs you liked most over the past year and I will do them over again in a holiday style and last but not least, if you have not subbed to my channel, please do so. I would love the continued support throughout next year. Quick shout out to BGST Crew, shout out to Beastfire, shout out to IntermediateGame.com, shout out to Mr. 100, KMega405, Cyclonus245, uh, Kano Gaming Section, everybody that has helped me, and NextGen720, everybody who has watched my videos, thanks so much from the bottom of my heart. I deeply appreciate the support. Also, any topic ideas for me? Let me know and I'll get around to them as soon as possible. I might do a video on the fact that Sony is now called We're Burning Up! We're Burning Up! We're Burning Up! Because their pros cannot seem to find fans without melting down. Ha ha ha. Anyway, this is T Reaper. Thanks so much for putting up with me for the past nine minutes. I gotta get going, but thanks so much for your support and I hope it keeps coming throughout the year. And if I don't uh, talk to you in the next week, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Later.